Yo, Chris D from PC Addicts here uh, with the little netbook. I love these little things, man. A lot of people hate on them because they say they're not powerful enough to do anything. But you know what? I didn't buy it to to be used as a as a replacement for my main PC. I used it for portability, and um, I'm really liking this. I've had it for uh, maybe four or five days now. Just installed Ubuntu on it. I dual booted it. Um, Maybe one day I can go through an install on that. It's pretty. It's pretty simple. There's a lot of how-to's online on how to do that. But um, here you go. You got. Uh, I can't do this backwards and inverted. Watching the video. Uh, you know, get your little menu there. You do have uh, the compiz stuff or some of the uh, effects, such as like this. This is just default. I didn't. I didn't install anything but just updates. Um, look how smooth that transition is too. It's uh, very good. It's got the, the Intel Atom. In 450 and uh, one gig of RAM, pretty standard, which which you find on anything. This thing only cost me 199 bucks at Target, and um, uh, da -da 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 -da. I don't know what else to say about this thing. It's I just wanted to show it off again. I wanted to show that I do have I'm dual booting now. Uh, just a quick note too, in a situation like this, I recommend um, and this was recommended to me by ADV or advanced computer ADV comp I call them ADV in our chat um, before I dual booted I went ahead and uh, created some created the restore disk because these things don't come with any media to restore and it doesn't have a it does have a partition on it but I think it's just to hold stuff that uh, you need to be able to burn these things not this one this one's a driver uh, some drivers and stuff that were on it and uh, here you go, I got this one, this two for recovery. Just in case anything happens, I want to restore it. And then just in case that doesn't work out, I went ahead and used Image for Windows to um, make a disk image of the entire hard drive. So I have some backups, just in case I would need to go back for whatever reason. Um, let's see. Right now, I mean, everything's working. The audio works. The, the function keys work. You know, like if I want to brighten up the screen. There we go. Just brightened up. If I wanted to dim it. If I wanted to turn down the volume, turn up the volume, right? Where's it at? Yeah, up on the top there, you can see uh, down. And then also, I wanted to show you guys just a base install. Okay, I haven't installed any of my my things. No IRSSI. No, um, I didn't even install Compass Config Manager. I don't even know if it'll install. I'm sure it will. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the system monitor in case anybody's wondering what kind of resources this thing's using compared to Windows it's very very light um, even though Ubuntu is kind of known well I don't know I'll probably get some hate stuff on that but it's kind of known for being kind of bloated now these days but that's okay because it's nice there's a lot of they pack a lot of things in there that um, people need and use and don't want to have to screw around with and try to get working now here's our system monitor it's showing for memory, it's using 156 megs. Excuse my hands, I'm doing some drywall tape and mud. It's using 156 megs of RAM. Uh, blah, 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 blah. CPU is at, right now it says 8%, 9%, 7%, 14%. $14. Yada, yada, yada. Oh, uh, that's about it. I mean, running off the battery. I think the battery, you know what? I did test out the Ubuntu Netbook Remix. The other day, and tried to connect to a hot spot that I in Windows I can see, but um, it was it was a very low signal. And then in this one, it doesn't pick it up, and it didn't pick up a couple others too. So I don't know if it's just not as powerful, but but as far as trying to find the uh, Wi-Fi hotspots, but that's it's pretty lightweight as far as uh, resources, just base. And I'm gonna go ahead and go through this thing and uninstall some things that are installed by default that we don't really need. At least not on this netbook. I don't know what I'm going to be using mainly. You know, I'm just going to play around with both. Um, I don't know if the memory card reader works. You know, I haven't tested all that out yet, but I'll test it out and come back to you.